What's up, YouTube? This your main man, ABD Hero, back again with a, another video. And this weekend, JBA tryouts continue, moving the show to Philadelphia on Saturday and New York on Sunday. So today, I wanted to preview this weekend's tryouts and then also provide you with some tips and some tricks that I think may help you make the team this weekend. So first things first, Saturday's trials will be held at the Fight On Sports Center in uh, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. The address is 3640 G Street. Now, outside of the Fight On's arena, uh, it seems that parking may be a little limited. So the trials start at 9 o'clock, but I would suggest that you get there extra, extra early, even earlier than the, the hour that they want you to show up. Man, I would get there around 7.30. Really, if you're really crazy, I would get there at 7, give me a good spot, um, see if I could get in early, maybe get some shots up, get used to the court. Inside the Fight On Sports Center, they do have two regulation size basketball courts with a three-point line from the high school range, international range, and NBA range. If you could get in there today, tomorrow, or early Saturday morning, I would test my range out. Because you don't want to wait until the trials start to figure out if you're a three-point shooter from NBA range or not, right? Figure that out before you get in there because you might need to step in. If you're out here launching shots like you Steph Curry, but you only a high school version of Steph Curry, you need to know that in advance if you're going to make the squad. On Sunday, the trials will be at the Brooklyn Sty Dome in New York City. That's 312 Kazukoski Kuku Street. Brooklyn, New York, all right? I don't, you don't know uh, the pronunciation of some of these. I don't know why people have to make it difficult and they just don't use regular letters and words and simple names, you know what I'm saying, to to name their streets and they selves, you feel me? The Sty Dome now, um, I want to say from what I can tell, they've got some outside courts, but then they've got one indoor regulation size court that I could tell from their website, all right? So, that means that there is going to be some downtime in between reps, all right? Like I said before, there was a lot of full court being played in the last trial. So if there's five teams trying to play full court, you're going to have to sit a little bit. So while you're in there, make sure you're stretching, make sure you're staying warm, and make sure you're moving up and down the sidelines because you do not want to get cold while you're waiting for your turn on the court, all right? Once again... If you can, I would suggest that you touch down in the Brooklyn Sty Dome. I would suggest that you touch down in the Brooklyn Sty Dome either today, tomorrow, Saturday, or get there super early if you can on Sunday to try to get some shots up, get familiar with the court, and feel your game out in there, right? Because you want to try to get every advantage that you can. Come in the building understanding the opportunity that you have at hand. This is a shot for you to become a professional athlete. So with a, being a professional athlete, you should come in with the understanding that you should act like a professional athlete, right? Now, a professional athlete that everyone loves is somebody who can turn it on and flip that switch when it's time. This here is playoff mode. This is not preseason. This is do or die. This is show up, show out, or go home, right? So come in there, focus. If you gotta bump your music in the car and, and get that meat meal Saturday morning, cause you know what, y'all? Listen to that Dreams and Nightmares about seven times. Come in there, not on the beginning part, but come in there turned up like meat meal is turned up on the second part of that song. Come in there ready to work. Now, some suggestions for you. Intensity. At some point, you don't want to be the city where the coach has to stop the trial and say, y'all got to turn it up. Come in there with the intensity. Come in there with that fire. When I was in uh, college and I was talking to some uh, scouts and things, they were telling me they'd rather have a player who they got to tone down than to try to ramp up, right? Because you can always say, yo, slow it down. Just slow it down a little bit. But it's harder to make somebody want it. You feel me? So be that player that people got to be like, yo, bro, calm down just a little bit. You want this a little too bad. You feel me? Now, then also with that, keep your wits about you. Come in there prepared to play smart basketball. 
yes, this is a opportunity of a lifetime, but what you don't want to do is try to overdo it. Make the smart basketball play. It looks good if you see somebody wide open and you hit them for an easy layup than if you got to do wide open under the hoop but you fading away from 30 feet and still making it, all right? Make the easy pass and then make your open shot when you got it as well. You look like a smart basketball player. Now, I will say if you got the type of range where you could just jack that thing from 30, that looks great as well. Also, show the athleticism. When you walk into the building, you're being observed. If you can jump out the gym, make sure you're putting yourself in a position to jump out the gym. If in the games that you're playing, you don't get a chance to get a tip dunk or an alley-oop, in between games, make sure you got a ball in your hand and you jumping out the gym. Showcase your abilities. Figure out what you can do and put yourself in positions to do that, right? If you then have to find yourself on the court where the smart plays is not letting you showcase, find time to showcase that at some point, all right? Now, the tough thing for you to do is that in most of the other cities, there's been a ton of guards, right? So if you a guard, I'm a guard, it's 70 other guards in here, we only fighting for the same couple of positions. So you have to figure out what are you going to do to separate yourself from all the other guards in the building. I'm telling you that what you need to do is bring the intensity, bring the smarts, show your athleticism, be prepared, walk in there with the ideal that I'm going to intentionally show these things that I'm great at and this is going to separate me from everybody else. Now, also, I said this in my other video, have some swag, man. You know how when you're on the 2K and you're creating that player and you know he look good on the court? Make sure you come in there looking like you about to do some things. Now, it's that's an interesting thing, though, because that could go both ways. Sometimes the dude with the Dwayne combed his hair in about 30 years look like he a hooper. And sometimes the dude who cut up looking like Babyface Nelson, he looked like a hooper, too. So find your swag, get into it, and love that swag. Also, if you hella tall, come in there, and if that's what you got, show that you got that hella tall stuff. Block some shots. I would also suggest you to watch some of that good Chino Hills offense and some of that um, some of them big baller brand challenge offensive film tapes and see what roles that you playing there so you can get in there and show that you could at least fit into that style of offense if that's what they looking for, all right? So come in there, be intense, and be ready to ball. Now, on a lighter note, or maybe not lighter, but maybe a little bit more serious, the part that I felt like was super dope is that I was looking at the websites for these two places that these trials are going to be held. And I'm telling you that the energy in these buildings are going to be amazing. The Fido Center, right, there's a little section on their website where they talk about the owner. Now, the owner of the Fido Center is Eric Poo Evans. Now, this is the older brother of Tyreek Evans of the NBA. I'm going to say he played for the Pelicans right now, all right? So, um, Eric Evans was a high school baller, tried, went to college, was trying his hardest to go pro. Things weren't working out and decided, you know what, man? My little brother, Tyreek, is really about that life. Let me focus my energy on him. And then decided to pour his knowledge and inspiration and, and basketball IQ into Tyreek. And then he says that he realized that this information that he had is is valuable to the community as a whole and then this is how the fight on uh, sports center opened up is just as an as a passion project for him to impart that wisdom and guidance on youth of uh the city of philadelphia to me that's dope that to me says that the energy in the building is going to be immaculate because it's a lot of inspiration it's a lot of perspiration and it's a lot of determination flowing through those walls now what was even doper or just as dope as when i was looking over here at the uh Brooklyn Stydome and really man the message behind that is almost exactly the same uh, there was a quote that was on the website it was from the president and I want to say I don't know if he's the owner but he's titled as the president a guy named Eric Hicks and he says that we have their attention if all we teach them to play is basketball we have failed as a company to me that's deep because
because he's talking about, yes, this is sports, but there's also life that is accompanied with said sports. And so the purpose of them is to not only give them some skills and some talent and hone their gifts and abilities as basketball players, but it's also to help them become men and women of tomorrow. To me, that's dope. To me, these two places signify what like I believe the JBA and the opportunity that they're providing these young athletes um, to become professional players is all about is, is giving back and then also giving yourself an opportunity to have an opportunity. You feel me? So this is dope to me, man. I just wanted to give y'all some of that inside out information. Now, if you got any more questions, leave them in the comments. Let me know if you're going to be at the JBA tryouts this weekend in Philly and in New York. And I'm going to tell you this, your boy AB the Hero will also be in attendance in Philly and New York. So if you've seen this video and you catch me there, throw me, let me know you've seen it. And then you know what I'm saying, let's get a picture and do all of those things. But, like I said, it's your man, AB the Hero. I'm out. Peace.